Our last trip in Asia of 2019 was our visit to Hong Kong and Macau. So we jumped on the bus heading to the border between Hong Kong and Macau. We passed the Hong Kong Macau Bridge, a 55 kilometers long bridge and tunnel system connecting Hong Kong with Macau and mainland China. The bridge is the longest sea crossing and longest open sea fixed link on Earth. The fascinating thing about Macau is that it is the most densely populated region on Earth, which we could tell from the high-rising buildings and the narrow streets. There is just not a single unused space we passed by. So these buildings have something attached to them that look like um, that looks like birdcage, and that's why they call them like birdcage apartment buildings. Macau is the second richest country in the world, and a big part of that is because of the gambling tourism. It's the only place in China where casinos are allowed, and to give you an idea of how huge the annual casino profits are in Macau, it's about three times higher than Las Vegas. We visited one of the biggest casinos, the Venetian. Now we're in the Venetian. We didn't gamble, we just looked around and quickly headed to the food court because you know we love trying food in other countries. Macau was formerly a colony of the Portuguese Empire, so we saw so many Portuguese influences in the architecture and even in the food. This is a famous Portuguese dessert, it's an egg tart. And because it's Portuguese, they also eat it here. Okay. It's very sweet. Mm. And crunchy from the outside. Pretty meat. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, shit. We only had one day in Macau and we just wanted to soak everything up before heading to Hong Kong. We just walked around for hours and I was really amazed by the small streets with residential buildings with big casinos in the background which gave a unique vibe. But there were also beautiful hidden temples. So we found this beautiful temple, I think, in the middle of the city and it's like surrounded by residential buildings and for um, as far as we know it's like 400 years old and it's called the Temple of Lotus. And it's so beautiful. It's fresh water. <laughs> 
At night, we took a boat to Hong Kong, which is another way besides crossing the bridge to get from Macau to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is famous for its spectacular skyline, which we enjoyed at night. It has more than 1,200 skyscrapers, more than both New York and Tokyo. But the nice thing is that Hong Kong is surrounded by mountains, national parks and beaches, so we started off our trip with a morning hike to Victoria Peak. overview of Hong Kong Island and you can really like see the concrete jungle from this area which is so interesting but we woke up so early like four o'clock and we didn't have breakfast yet so now we're going to head into the concrete jungle to have some nice dim sum breakfast Dim sum is a meal that consists of many small dishes, usually steamed buns or dumplings, filled with shrimps or meats, and usually you enjoy it together with tea. Usually you first wash your cups and chopsticks in hot water to kill any germs. And the dim sum restaurant we went to, they didn't have a menu, they just walk around with freshly made dim sum that are made in the kitchen, and the dim sum that is ready at the moment, that is what you can order from. There is so much flavor from the lotus leaf. Saki no yama ga sabu sugi de mo murasaki inatte. These are the shrimp dumplings, and sometimes people find over these. These are the most popular. Hong Kong is a paradise if you love food. We just kept on going from one restaurant to the other. One of our favorites was the one Michelin star shrimp noodle restaurant, which served noodles topped with shrimp eggs and shrimp wonton soup, which was absolutely delicious. <laughs> Kira enjoys meat from time to time, and he really wanted to try Hong Kong duck. So on our last evening, we decided to go to one of the best takeout places for duck. Wow! Thank you. Thank you. One bowl three. It's so easy to get around in Hong Kong and there is a ferry that connects Hong Kong Island with the mainland which only takes 5 minutes and you can enjoy the skyline from the ferry. We also enjoy just walking around because every corner in Hong Kong is photogenic. And you know, Takeru loves taking pictures so we spend quite a bit of time taking pictures of high apartment buildings.
And we of course didn't forget to drop by a local hairdresser to get Takeru another haircut. Beautiful with all the mountains in the background. Yeah. Hong Kong consists of many islands, and one of them is Lantau Island, the largest island in Hong Kong. It is also where you can find the second largest sitting Buddha statue in the world, and that is exactly what we wanted to check out before heading back to Japan. The Tian Tam Buddha was finished in 1993 and it's 34 meters high and facing north to look over the Chinese people. The statue is so impressive and especially when you are looking at it from the stairs. Second biggest sitting Buddha statue in the world. Biggest in Taiwan. This was a little sneak peek of our trip to Hong Kong and Macau and I hope you enjoyed it and please note that we're not traveling at the moment. Please stay safe and healthy and let's dream about our next destinations in hopefully the near future.